Hey, what's up, you guys? Well, the Jacob here. Well, the Jacob here, meeting my icon, Catherine Isabel, Daniel Lorenzo. Wait, what did you say? Daniel Lorenzo. Guys, better subscribe and watch my friend on his YouTube channel. He is kicking ass. Welcome to the world of the not too distant future. Get going! Go! A brutal gang is reshaping the world into their own vision of hell. And only one man can stop them. Jean-Claude Van Damme is leading the battle between good and evil. Take them out. As it's never been fought before. <laughs> He's on a desperate mission to rescue a cyborg who holds the secret for saving the world. Why did you help me? I don't want to see you die. From the dust of destruction rises the warrior of a new age. <laughs> Say goodbye, my friend. Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you another movie review. This time we're going to be talking about Cyborg, starring Jean-Claude Van Damme, which was released in 1989 and directed by Albert Pion. Jean-Claude Van Damme has become the first hero of the 21st century. <laughs> Stars Van Damme as Gibson Rickenbacker, a mercenary who battles a group of murderous marauders led by Fander Tramalo along the east coast of the United States in a post-apocalyptic future. So yeah, uh, this is a film I've been kind of eager to watch for a while. Um, looking up some reviews of it, actually fairly positive reviews. You know, some people had uh, called it you know one of Van Damme's sort of you know hidden gems. Um, came out in '89, sort of like right along you know his uh, main stint of fame. Um, but yeah, not really as talked about as like Universal Soldier, Bloodsport. Uh, hard target, some other ones like that, um, and really before I was you know skimming through uh, Amazon Prime a while ago when I first got into watching all these you know, types of movies again, um, I hadn't really uh, heard much of it either. Um, so I was curious just because of that, um, but I was also of course attracted to the, to the premise. You know, uh, you know I, I like action movies, I like martial arts stars. But my favorite genre are still things like horror, I like sci-fi spins on things sometimes, not all the time. <laughs> um, so I'm automatically attracted to uh, you know, promises like this. Um, and I was uh, very eager to watch, and overall I gotta say I'm uh, pretty pleased. Uh, along with Universal Soldier, this is probably my favorite Jean-Claude Van Damme film. Um, now I think, his be I think his best acting performances are in in Hell, as well as uh, Wake of Death, which I did reviews on both. Um, but as far as his 80s and 90s flicks, I think uh, he turns in his best acting performance here. And that combined with uh, the premise and uh, the pacing of the story, which I, which I enjoyed, um, this is probably my favorite overall, along with the first Universal Soldier. Um, Jean-Claude Van Damme in this, again, uh, gives a pretty good performance. 
Um, nothing necessarily spectacular, although there is a scene uh, as to do with a crucifixion where he has some you know, flashbacks and stuff like that. You kind of see his internal struggle, you know, to motivate himself to you know keep going and break away. Um, actually, pretty good, you know, for what you'd expect from this kind of film. Um, his character, of course, I'm not going to go into every plot detail. Um, although it's not a really complex, you know, it's another sort of revenge, redemption type of uh, angle. Uh, I actually thought it was pretty good, you know, sort of revealing to us little pieces, fragments of it throughout the movie. I thought it was fine, it didn't really take away from the pacing of the present day story. Uh, but, you know, I thought it was tragic, and, uh, you know, of course, you figure something happens with his family or people he cared about. Um, but it doesn't really happen in the manner you'd uh, really think, you know, it's not just like straight up, you know, shot and killed or just stabbed or something like that. Um, it's actually a little bit worse what happened. Um, so I enjoyed that, and these these people weren't necessarily his uh, actual family either. He had uh, survived with them, gotten to know them in this post-apocalyptic future, um, grew to, you know, love them, especially the woman. Um, and, you know, the kids would also look to him, so... Yeah, it still makes sense. And with that, he also meets a woman along the way named Natty, played by Deborah Richter. Uh, Richter, excuse me. <laughs> um, I thought she did a pretty good job as well. She was a lot more likable than I was expecting. Uh, so I uh, actually enjoyed her presence in the film quite a bit as well. And the main villain, Fender. Uh, you know, fairly over the top, <laughs> if you just look at that there. Although the uh, costume design and the outfits and stuff like that aren't nearly as over the top as things like uh, you'll see in The Running Man, which I enjoyed for a Schwarzenegger movie, but I gotta say I like this film more. Um, it still has sort of its uh, self-seriousness with its uh, the world it's in, um, which I appreciated, um, but also you know kind of works as you know the action you know sort of popcorn flick that it is. Um, so I feel like it meshed a little bit more. But yeah, the villain is over the top. The actor's, you know, sort of a delivery is a bit much at times. Um, but it worked, you know, and he had a presence uh, with the contact lenses or whatever they were. They worked. He looked a, you know, fair bit creepy. You know, he felt imposing enough. Um, yeah, I'd compare best to sort of like uh, your Dolph Lundgren in the Universal Soldier movie, but not quite that, but still it kind of worked in a similar way for the most part. Um, and again, Van Damme, probably his best performance of like his classic style 80s, 90s films you'll see. Uh, you know, I liked his story, I was interested in him. And yeah, I feel like his character progressed a bit as well, which is nice. And then the fight scenes, of course, are pretty good in this way. There's a number of good sequences, you know, sort of utilizing the way the environment is and just sort of like the rundown you know, uh, city areas, I thought it looked really good. I like the, again, the setting, the premise, the environment, everything. Um, and uh, I heard there's a pretty good fight scene in the climax of the film, which did remind me a lot of the uh, final fight in the first Universal Soldier film. Um, I guess I'm a sucker for fights in the rain at night. Um, for some reason, it just sets a good mood, and it worked here again as well. Uh, it was a very good final fight scene. Um, again, the bad guy was over the top with some of his mannerisms and his, you know, yelling and, you know, groaning and stuff like that, but it worked, and there's some good choreography throughout the film. And, uh, you know, there's actually a character death or so that you might not think they do, given the, uh, nature or the formula of what these films usually are. Um, so yeah, overall, I really, really enjoyed Cyborg. I guess at one point it was going to be a sequel to a Masters of the Universe film I did in 87. Um, luckily it wasn't that, <laughs> and it turned into this instead. Um, also I forgot to mention this plot point, there's a Cyborg who is, uh, supposedly a part of this group that's developing a cure for the illness and sort of disease that's written in this, uh, version of our world. Um, and uh, Fender is you know, using her to find that and just you know, wipe it out. And again, Fender is pretty simplistic as a villain. You know, he just he likes the mayhem, he likes the carnage, so he just wants you know any hope to you know just be over. <laughs> um, so there's not much reasoning behind him, but you know it is what it is on that end. Um, and the actress playing the cyborg, I thought was fine, although there's not a whole lot of concentration on her. I thought actress did a fine job. At one point in the movie, it's going to be called Slinger because that's what they call the kind of uh, people who work as Van Damme does in the movie. 
um, you know, as you know, guides through these uh, cities. Um, so yeah, Slinger probably would have been a more appropriate title when you see the movie, because um, you know, most of the focus is on him. But I think they want a cyborg probably because it just sounds like a more typical, typical sort of uh, marketable movie title. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, overall, I really did enjoy Cyborg. And uh, my rating is next to this Collector's Edition Blu-ray you can get, which I'm going to be ordering at some point, hopefully. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm giving Cyborg a BB+. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, could be my favorite Van Damme flick. I have to let it resonate a little bit more again. Um, but I really liked it, man. So yeah, let me know you guys thought about this film. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.